in today's video, I want to have a conversation or a dialogue to share truth and wisdom with the modern woman so she can avoid shame, so she can avoid embarrassment and needing to draw sympathy from the court of public opinion. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yacht Salon. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Today, I'm back at it in them trenches, handling that kingdom business. Man, I see a lot of women, you know, sharing their story of encounters they've had with men, telling their story of how they became single mothers, and some of this stuff is flat out embarrassing. It's embarrassing to the point where some women, if given the option not to comment, they're not going to comment because this stuff is so uh, embarrassing that they know they will be judged and shamed by the court of opinion, by the court of public opinion. For your sake as a woman, let me give you uh, some things that you need to watch out for. If a man has not married you, if a man has not married you, doesn't want to be in a, a committed relationship with you, don't let no man hit you raw. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm, uh, this is, I'm not advocating for fornication. I'm not advocating for sexual immorality. But some of these stories that women tell about stuff that they've been through and stuff that they allow to happen, it, it, it would be embarrassing. Like, as a man, I would be embarrassed to tell somebody that my baby mama is no good, but I bust it all up in a stripper. That would, that's embarrassing. It would be embarrassing for me, a man, uh, to sit up and tell uh, stories about how my child's mother ain't no good, but I bust it up in a crackhead. That is, whoo, that's painful. So for that reason, man, I'm just trying to give you uh, the wisdom that nobody else is giving you. Okay? Man, there is women out there that have let men hit them raw. These men don't have a job. These men don't have a, a roof over their head that they provide. These men are known womanizers using women, known vagabonds. Only thing they got to offer is good digging stick. And you let them hit it raw? Imagine not being able to hold your child's father or your baby daddy accountable because this man ain't never had no job. Imagine uh, uh, being in that house about ready to pull your hair out trying to raise a child that you knew out the get-go you wasn't gonna have no help with in the first place you got women out there that have a testimony of letting a man hit it raw and this man got multiple kids that he'll tell you he don't take care of tell you he don't have no interest in spending time with and you let these men hit it raw. Here you are. This man already got five baby mamas. Don't have a job. 
don't take, don't, don't care, don't even know where his kids is at. And you let that man hit it raw. Put a baby up in you. And oftentimes, here's the bad part. In these last days, you not, women is not getting away with having all this unprotected sex. You're given a reminder of your choices, the consequences and repercussions. And I'm trying to talk to you in a manner uh, to where you think about this. You letting these little uh, young girls, man, you letting these little boys uh, that don't have nothing going for themselves. These the, the men will tell you they looking for a hoe. They don't sit around all day. All, all they do is sit around all day and smoke weed and pop pills with no job. And you don't never ask yourself, where, where they getting the money to do this from? And you let these men hit it raw. Man, there's women out there that fell in love with an inmate. Somebody that's in jail. And uh, I know... I know his rap sheet says he did this and did all that, but I found the good in him. Man, these men get out. You let these men hit it raw, plant a baby up in you, and the next thing you know, three months later, bro, I, 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 this is, I'm, if you've ever watched Kendra G Live, if you've ever watched any of Kevin Samuels, you've ever watched any of these dangles, when they be asking these women, where is the child's father? What happened to the last man? This man then got himself arrested again and put back in prison. Now you got to raise this. Man, that's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. You letting these men hit it raw. And they leaving you, they leaving your life in shambles. They leaving your life in shambles. Man, let me tell you something. If a woman does not want to, listen to me, women, you need to hear this. When a woman does not want to tell you about her child's father, there's usually some some accountability in there that she's voiding and some, some shame that she's avoiding because she knew that man wasn't no good. You got some women out there that know that they and they, they, they child's father didn't work out, but they really don't have nothing bad to say about him. He's a good provider for his kids. He does right by them kids. And then you got those that, man, you ask about they, they child's father, they baby daddy and demons manifest. You letting these men hit it raw. Man, it's um it's sad, man, to see some of these young girls that be thinking that these older men have some wisdom and they get hitched to an old fool. They let these old men skeet up in them, skeet up the block. And then you got to deal with this for the rest of your life. Some women be so embarrassed of their baby daddy. Oftentimes, people don't talk about why some women don't tell the kids who the real father is. And the reason why is because they're ashamed that if the kid one day grows up and finds out that this was their father and where they come from, oh man. Now that kid going to look at you crazy. And I'm trying to I'm trying to tell you save yourself from this foolishness. I'm trying to tell you to save yourself from this foolishness. It's not worth it. A lot of y'all letting men skeet up in you that you you don't even feel comfortable bringing around your family. Why? Because the women in your family, the men in your family is going to ask you, what the heck are you doing? Why would you let that man come around? Why would you let this man uh, come around here with his pants off his butt? We got educated women doing this. And you didn't let these men skeet up the block on you and you wonder 
why you struggling? Man, I hope I've said something to, to get your gears going in your mind as a woman and help you avoid some embarrassment and some shame. Closer to Y'all Ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight.